Hi, this is Nicolette out at Hidden Villa and uh, one of the great parts of my job is taking care of the beautiful garden out here. So I wanted to help you learn a little bit about um, how some of the animals here change what they have into something we need. So what's really fun is some of the tiniest animals are the biggest helpers and without the animals I'm talking about we couldn't make this garden grow. So. I'm going to do some garden math. So you see I have something set up here. Plus means you add one thing to another. And equal means all together, all the pluses added together make something special. So first part of this math is all of our leftover scraps from the garden. See, there's some plants in here and also what we leave in the kitchen. So, you know, you never eat the peel of the banana. You don't eat the peel of the orange. We put that sometimes in the garbage, but at Hidden Villa, we put it in a pile called the compost pile. I'll tell you more about that in a second. Okay, so this is the first part of our, we call it an equation, okay? The kitchen scraps plus What's this? <gasps> this is the animal poop. This one is, these are from a cow. And cows are great. They make 50 pounds of animal poop a day. So they help us a lot. So these scraps plus the poop plus some really important helpers. This is a little pile of worms. See all those wiggly worms in there? Oh my gosh, they are working hard turning this leftover, all this kind of gooey stuff back into dirt. And all these three things equal the dirt in the garden. Wow, look how beautiful this is. All right, let's start at the beginning. We're taking something we don't need anymore. The leftovers, the scraps. Sometimes people call it the garbage. But like I said, at Hidden Villa, we take this and we take something else that you think of as garbage. This is the poop from the cow, remember? And that's something that we think, oh, so stinky. We don't want to be around it. But guess what? Our friends, the worms, love it. It's their favorite snack. Then we take these two things and put them in a compost pile. And that's a big open pile. Sometimes we put them in a box like this. This is called a worm bin. I'm going to flip it up and look at this stinky old uh, pumpkin we have. They love it so gooey because worms, they don't really have any teeth they have a, like a straw for a mouth and they can only suck up things. So they love that yummy gooey pu uh, pumpkin. Now here they all are. And what they do is they take these things and I'm gonna show you a little thing you can show your grownups. This is how worms work in the garden. They go like this, munch, 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 wiggle, 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 poop, poop, poop. And their poop is new dirt for the garden. So what used to look like banana peel, an orange peel and a apple core and maybe some leaves from the garden now looks like this and it's all because of the worms. Isn't that beautiful? So without them changing what we gave them into something different, which is dirt, we wouldn't have any kind of dirt for the garden. So we really need to thank those worms because the hard work that they do every day helps us make our garden grow so beautifully. Well, that's it for me today. This is Nicolette at Hidden Villa saying, hope to see you on the farm.